what is brandy, Paul? Brandy is a liqueur. Is it? And it's a strong one, I think. Um, I always think of St. Bernard dogs when I think of brandy because they had the little barrel and the rescue dogs, when they went up into the Swiss Alps or whatever to um, rescue avalanche victims, they would always give them a drink of brandy because it would keep them warm, you see, because it was so cold. They would give it to the dogs? No, the dogs, oh, the dogs had a barrel around their neck ah. with brandy in it. Anyway, woof woof, we are going to be trying out this Taurus number 10. You know why I picked this one? No. It was an offer. <laughs> oh, right, okay. Well, it says Taurus 10 continues the legacy of Juan Taurus, who began distilling the finest grapes in Pinedas, Barcelona in 1928, using the traditional Solera method to age his brandy. Around Thanks it. to its extraordinary aroma and flavour, it has become the world's most recognised Spanish brandy, balanced to be served straight or mixed. Okay, well, I think you should open it. Now, how do we open this? And we've got these lovely glasses, which you picked up at a distillery in Port Divine in Northern Ireland, didn't you? Mm, yes. And we nearly had an accident today, well I did, because they were in a cupboard and I opened the cupboard door to grab a plate and the glasses were sitting in front of the plates and one of these glasses tumbled. Ah, look, tumbler, tumbler. One of these glasses <laughs> tumbled out onto the work surface and then onto the floor, bounced and did not break. So it just goes to show how strong these glasses are. And when I said Port Divine, of course, I actually meant Donica D in County Down. And meanwhile, Paul is still struggling to open this. No, this is like, like... What is it? How does it come off? I think I need a knife. Is it not? Just screw open. This is incredible. I've never seen anything like this. Are there not opening instructions on it? No. Okay, well, it looks as though we'll have to take a short break and uh, come come back. <laughs> have a look at this. Oh, I see. No, it it says press. Does it? Oh wait, I can't say press. Sorry, I. No. It, it opens like a bottle of oil. Okay, you should resume now. Well, we worked out what to do. Um, it certainly is childproof. What you have to do is um, find the little layer that goes around the, the rim up there, similar to how you would open a bottle of olive oil or something like that. So it should open now. <laughs> should it? In theory. <laughs> Goodness me. They should give instructions with this. Why don't I hold it like this? Is it coming off at all? How the hell is this? Does it just lift? Or do you press it down or something? Ah, maybe you have to press, press it and turn it. Like a bottle of medicine. I don't know. Why don't I look it up? Is this the, this isn't the security tag, is it? No. Thank you for watching our show today. Please continue to like, comment, and subscribe.
I need a drink after all that. It's taken us about 20 minutes just to get the cap off. Torres, what on earth are you doing? We've huh? had to take serrated knives, the scissor, the, 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 the meat scissors, another knife. I you know, risked cutting my hands. YouTube tutorials. Did it really help? There's something wrong with your bottles, Torres. Anyway, let's see what it tastes like after all that. I hope it's amazing. Ooh, okay. Do you want rocks with that? No, I think we should just try it neat. It smells like whiskey, to be honest. Because um, I think some of the brandies are aged in uh, um, what kind of barrels? Like, like the ones. Oak. And also like the wine casks. Wine casks. Okay, cheers. Cheers, bottoms up. Let's try this. Mmm, not bad. Mmm. And it is quite medicinal, I suppose, for like a, if it's a really, really cold day. I think that there is like a sweetness to this. Yeah, it's like a licorice or something. Yeah, it's, it's, it's an like, aftertaste. It doesn't come immediately. You get that immediate burst of heat. You know, it isn't as overpowering as some of those really strong whiskies that I like. So mm. it isn't going to kill you, this one. However, if you were to present that to me, um, you can sort of see the colour of it there. Um, along with whiskies and a taste test, I would have to say, I, I, I wouldn't say, well, that's not a whisky. But would you? Because you are a connoisseur of these things. I think this tastes slightly different from whiskey. Um, a gradual sense. Mm. I can't really put my finger on it, but it doesn't... Because I know from the bottle that this isn't whiskey. So that's why I'm kind of thinking, oh, okay, this is... So what would be the best time to drink this? Is it like an after dinner drink? Where... They do recommend having it as an after dinner um, aperitif. With your dessert, perhaps? Or just uh, on its own? I would have it by itself. And I suppose with the cost of energy these days, you, you could just drink one of these and it would save you having to put the heating on. Yes, so... Uh, what is the alcohol percentage in this one? Uh, 38%. And how does that compare with whiskies? I think the whiskies is at least 40%. So it's not quite as potent as whiskey. Don't you think it's strong enough? Well, it tastes strong yes it certainly does so what is your overall verdict on this compared with the whiskies i i think this has like a sweeter hint to it that like it tastes more caramelly or it tastes more caramelized that's what i gather the only thing is that we would definitely say is that if you were in a real hurry for a drink and you just bought one of these uh-uh no. Once you've opened it, it's fine. Um, because it's got this like a little screw top. And then there's this bit on the inside. Which is like an aerator type thing or something, is it? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Um will I buy brandies again knowing this fact? I'm not hundred percent well, sure. I think you'd have to look at the, the bottle top this, to see. Like like this part of it is really off putting. Because I don't even know how we got the top off to begin with. I actually think there may have been a fault either with the bottle or that... They all looked like that. Oh, so you you, you checked them, did you? They all had that additional... A great big piece of plastic, basically. Really thick plastic. So, we, we... so how did you get it off? Well, I started off by using what we have got, one of these knives, which is called World's Sharpest Knife. We've had it for that years. cuts through everything. Yeah. And it did start off, but then it went in a straight line and then it went on a curve. So I didn't want to cut myself. Um, so I then got the uh, meat scissors out, um, but then I couldn't get enough pressure underneath. So I thought, oh, I know, um, a knife with a serrated edge. And then I started to saw it a little bit. And then I was able to then use the 
world's strongest knife again along the bit that I'd serrated and in the last bit I was able to snip it off with the scissor. Um, but it's a real bind, a real exercise. I don't hate it, but I just hate how we got to this point. Yeah, so I think the thing is, you know, <laughs> um, our whole thoughts of the drink now won't be actually about the drink. It'll be about the bottle. <laughs> There's a real fault with it. Anyway, oh. cheers. Cheers, happy drinking. I uh, guess we better have another now that we've got it opened at last. We should. Top. Shall I give you a top up? Ooh, <laughs> my eyes are going to the back of my head. Just a little bit. Half of that, just a smidgen. Yep, that's enough. Should I have this one on the rocks? Do you keep it in the fridge afterwards or not? I don't think so. Just as well, because I think it might leak. <laughs> like a milk bottle. I don't hate the taste of this. It's... I think that you would be able to drink this more than you would be able to drink whiskey, I think. Because I think whiskey is maybe a bit more potent for you. Or there's like this um, aftertaste sometimes. I would still say a little goes a long way. For this, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good night. Time to sleep after this, I okay? think. All right, good night. I don't think it's bad though. But how the heck do we get the cap off?